Hello, Assalamualaikum. How are you all? I hope so that you all are in good health. Uh, today, I'm going to share my experience as an FGI lecturer interview. So, as soon as I enter into the room, uh, there were five members. Uh, four were males and one was female, uh, basically six. The sixth one was, uh, she was uh, assisting them in um, arranging the documents of that candidate who was on the seat. So uh, the first female, the only female who was appointed there in the panelist was, uh, she was a psychologist. And the four members uh, were the uh, representative of FGEI. The, the first one was a specialist in B8. Uh, the second one was uh, the chairperson. The third one was the observer because he didn't ask me the question, so I don't know who was he. And the fourth one was the subject specialist. And the fifth one, I told you that she was the female. And uh, the sixth female who was sitting at the backside, she was uh, cross-checking the documents and the original documents. So uh, at first, I um, sat at the chair that they offered me and there was a table. And at the other side of the table, they were sitting. It was like, uh, the if I talk about the seating arrangement, it was in a U shape. And uh, the female, she was sitting at the right side of me and uh, uh, the other panelists they were in front of me so uh, the first question they uh, as soon as I entered into the room they asked me to introduce myself and how I interview me I say oh, that, that you need to introduce yourself they want to know about you your hobbies uh, your merits and demerits and uh, everything about your education so i at first i introduced myself then i uh, talk about my liking and disliking about my father my siblings and after that i i told them about my education so it went well they just ask you to introduce uh, yourself in order to make you comfortable and uh, they want to check your confidence as well. So you should be confident at that moment. Achha, phir, uske baad, jo first question hua, wo mere introduce yourself in the introduction mein se hi liya, that was related to my father's occupation. And uh phir, father ke occupation mein se hi do teen questions और उसके बाद जो क्वेश्चन था वो मेरे ब्रदर से रिलेटेड था कि वो क्या कर रहे हैं और सिब्लिंग से रिलेटेड था लाइक दे वांट टू नो अबाउट मी एज़ वेल उसके बाद जो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन है जो फॉर्मली उन्होंने मेरे से किया दैट वाज फ्रॉम द पैनलिस्ट हु वाज स्पेशलिस्ट इन बीए इन टीचिंग स्ट्रेटजीज और क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू बीए सो द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाज दैट व्हाट इफ स्टूडेंट्स आर लाइक दे गिव मी अ सिनेरियो और द सिचुएशन दैट व्हाट इफ स्टूडेंट्स आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड एंड यू वांट टू टीच देम सो व्हाट विल बी योर आंसर um if i talk about the strategies there are many strategies to control the students the fir first one is to connect with their interests the second is to make learning interactive the third is use technology which is my favorite and i mentioned that that as well because at that moment this idea came in my mind uh, that chat gpt is uh, is the one which is uh, getting priorities nowadays and it is getting the attentions of the youth as well especially the students who are in uh, who are at the college level or at the university level so i thought that it is best to hit the nail at that moment so i mentioned that in, at that moment and then uh, to create a relatable context uh, what you are talking and what the students uh, want in and they want some real life situations in uh, their learning as well and you can tell them storytelling and you can encourage them to pose questions rest to creative method to pose question answer you can get a question answer session as well you can take quiz as well according to their interests and uh, you can also indulge their intention in the gaming in the gaming zone as well because at that moment the boys were in my mind so i was uh, answering them according to the uh, mindset of the boys uh, i was not sure about the girls okay second question was related to empathy threat 
Pretty Thread is a type of a teaching where uh, uh, you can uh, give them warning and um, where a teacher issues uh, a, student, a warning to a student but it does not actually intend to follow. Uh, for example, a teacher might say that if you don't stop talking, I will give you extra homework, but then does not give any homework. So, at this point, I don't, uh, I didn't have an idea that what it is, but uh, if, uh, but at that moment, I went to the literal meaning of that word, or a phrase, and pretty threat. So, according to the scenario, I mean, uh, answer the idea. And uh, while I was giving answer. The psychologist, you know, the female psychologist, she was observing me, my answers, my behavior, my confidence as well. So, unka jo sar, dekhi, kithe na jab note kari thi, to wo sara nazar aa raha tha ki dem that how she is feeling and how are our review review as well. Okay, the third question was related to linguistics. Uh, they asked me two theories related to language English learning. At first, they asked me that what are you doing nowadays. So I told them that I am doing MPhil and that is hybrid. So they asked me that you English language. If I ask you English language related or linguistics related questions, so you are comfortable? I said yes. So then they asked me question that what is ELT and what is TEFL. So even if I with a of name bachelor's may so answer is gonna be Okay, the first question was purely literature based. Uh, who said if the winter comes, can spring be far behind? You mean at the spot on go bluntly bold yeah that uh, it was uh, from O to West Wind and which was written by PB Shari. Uh Udhar say you know the fifth question kia that was who is William Godwin? When they asked me this question, who was William Godwin? I got confused. I said, this person has heard the name of the name. No, first of all, they asked me who was the BBC influence. I thought that the influence was from which angle, theory, country, person, whatever, where you want to give it. I said, it will be from Italian or something. So he went to the next question that was related to William Godwin. कहते विलियम गॉडविन कौन था? मैंने कहा विलियम गॉडविन ही वाज़ दी फादर ऑफ मैरी शेली एंड हिज वाइफ वाज़ अ फेमस फेमिनिस्ट मैरी वॉल्स्टन क्राफ्ट हु रोड ऑन द विंडिकेशन ऑफ द राइट ऑफ वुमेन एस वेल तो मैंने कहा ये भी कोई नॉवेलिस्ट होंगे लिटरेचर के बेस्ड बंदा होगा कोई so, इस तरह से उन्होंने मुझे बताया हम देखिए ये सब कुछ ना then he moved on to the next question that what is epic ये तो हम लोगों ने पढ़ा हुआ था at at this spot मुझे एकदम से क्लिक हो गया कि paradise lost और सब कुछ तो उसकी थोड़ी सी लाइंस मैंने कोट कर दी कहते हो कि ठीक है ठीक है ना देखिए वो देखना चाह रहे थे कि बंदी को पता है कि नहीं पता seventh question was related to mock epic mock epic से फिर मेरे दिमाग में क्लिक हो गई the rape of the lock by alexander pope so, I told him that it was an exaggerated form. He said, okay, an exaggerated form. He said, I was confused that I was saying, yes sir, that is an exaggerated form of an epic. So, I was confused. Two answers are okay, but I was confused. Okay, the eighth question was related to the theme of Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. That was also in my bachelor's degree. In the film, we were discussing the D.S. Elliot, so I also told him that. Then the ninth question was related to grammar. They asked me the distinction between phrase and clause. And they said that they were told to make a major role, that what is such a thing that they can differentiate. And then they also collaborated with it. They said that the main thing is subject and predicate. In the clause, subject and predicate. Whereas phrase is a group of words that does not give a proper meaning. The tenth question was related to language acquisition and language learning because I had told you that I am a hybrid so I was doing both mix-up questions about language acquisition and language learning Then eleventh question was again related to handling of the situation but this was a psychologist and he had given me the question what will be your behavior if you have a clash with your colleagues? So he was asking me how I will manage my things. I was looking at the management and seeing how I can cope up with things. How I can negotiate with things. How I can tackle things. So that was my question. I was looking at the person's personal questions. I was looking at the person's personal questions. I was looking at the person's personal questions. 
curious about the uh, mm-hmm. choice did that what if you are given a chance to teach me as in females are you comfortable to unhone mujhe bataya ki mujhe mujhe agar aap choice ke bare mein pooch rahe hain then i'm comfortable in uh, in teaching a uh, females phir unhone usi mein se question kiya that why do you prefer a female college or a f- to teach female is there any family restrictions to maine unhe bataya nahi family restrictions to hai aise nahi hai because my father also belongs to the same field to aisi koi bhi baat nahi hai lekin aapne mere se jaise se choice ka pucha hai so i am giving you my preference that uh, to teach in a female college okay then the fifth question tha unhone mere se pucha ki that we are at liberty to send you anywhere in punjab as it was mentioned in the advertisement as well so according to this situation will you go to wa wa can i mean to unhone mujhe dekhna cha rahe the ki main itna dur chali ja sakti hu ki nahi to maine unhe bataya ki as i belong to atabad to atabad ke raste mein wa bhi aata hai to mujhe pata hai pehle unhone pucha ki wa hai ka aapne kabhi dekha hai maine unko bataya surety di that uh, i have seen it aur ye mere raste mein bhi aata hai so i know कि आप जा सकेंगे एज यू आर स्कॉलर एज वेल तो मैंने उनको बताया कि डेट आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माय कोर्स वर्क अब मेरी रिसर्च है और है भी सेकंड टाइम में सो आई कैन मैनेज उनको अश्योरिटी दी डेट आई कैन डू इट और उसके बाद उन्होंने जीपीए पूछा और थोड़ी दो तीन और बातें की और उसके बाद जब उठने लगी तो फिर उन्होंने खुद ही बोला कि सर इनसे डेमो ले लेते हैं सो दे आर मी टू गिव अ डेमो आई हैव नथिंग विद मी आई वॉज नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर इट कुछ भी नहीं था मेरे हाथों में इवन दो जो फीमेल्स थी क्योंकि मैं जब वो वेट कर रही थी अपने इंटरव्यू के लिए तो मेरे मे, मेरे से आगे एक कैंडिडेट गई हुई थी ऑलरेडी तो नेक्स्ट मेरी टर्न थी तब जाके उन फीमेल ने आके बोला कि आपने डेमो भी देना होगा तो मेरे साथ जो और गर्ल्स थी कंपेटिटर्स थी उन्होंने जल्दी जल्दी उसके रिटर्न फॉर्म में कुछ ना कुछ लिखना स्टार्ट कर दिया था जो भी उन्होंने डेमो देना था एज दे वर वेल प्रिपेयर तो मेरा तो फर्स्ट टाइम था तो मैंने कहा कि चलो मैंने कहा सर आई हैव नथिंग विद मी बट आई कैन गिव यू डेमो ऑन अ पॉम एज वेल बिकॉज आई एम कंफर्टेबल विद अ पॉम तो उनके पास एक वाइट बोर्ड था और कुछ मार्कर थे तो उसके ऊपर मैंने डेमो दे दिया एंड इट वेंट वेल एज वेल उसमें वो देखना चाहते कि इंटरेक्शन बंदे की है कि नहीं है कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल है कि नहीं है कि बंदा पढ़ा सकता है कि नहीं सो दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड appointment letter alhamdulillah i got that uh, po- uh, i got that seat as well you can check it out ye fgi ki taraf se aaj receive hua hai that's it from my side and uh, uh, do subscribe my channel and share it with your friends as well thank you so much allah hafiz